this and complete course project please learn them in order this is part 5 rendering okay now we want to set our render layers and render settings for final batch render so first of all go to view and select cam so you want to lock this camera because we will animate our camera so you really want to um, lock your camera so go to view and select cam select all the camera values and right click and choose lock selected so that means you cannot able to move the camera view so now i want to select my all objects also so i will select this object and choose lock selected lock selected so you want to select all the objects because we also animated our objects so you need to set select all the objects and right click and choose lock selected so because you need to so because you accidentally if you select your uh, objects so it will uh, animate it so it will be weird so you need to lock your all objects values so i will select all my objects so and then you want to lock all the uh, translate rotate and scale axis so now you need to Uh, make render settings go to render settings in common tab in scenes you need to give show advanced settings and then you need to go over sorry in quality you need to show advanced settings and then you need to go legacy options so here you need to give um trace depth here you need to give reflection to 5 reflection to 5 maximum trace depth to 10 like this so now i want to uh you want to extend this legacy option so you want to change this and finite sampling to legacy sampling mode and give maximum go up and give maximum sample level to 2 at least to 2 so and then select this view and go to last frame so 130th frame i will select this view port and check the render so i will click on this one so i will escape so i will double click on this one so to fix and click render okay it's really cool so we will check in first frame and last frame so it's really awesome so now we need to set our uh, render settings so go to common tab so here you need to definitely choose your uh, file name so in file output you want to choose my file name of honda underscore logo underscore animation so our animation honda logo so animation animated honda underscore logo so and press enter so and choose image format to targa so finally we need to comp in after effects so we definitely choose targa and then frame the slash animation extension to name underscore as dot ext so give frame padding to 3 because it will has 3 digit so that means it will start from 001 and end up with 130 so that means here you need to give start from 1 and end up with 130th frame so see here now it will be save as animator honda logo underscore zero zero one and end up with animator honda logo one thirty underscore one thirty dot tga so like this so and then go downside so it's really important so you definitely choose renderable camera as camera one so you want to check one or two times so Uh, if you accidentally select the perspective view it will render this viewport 
so i want to render this animated camera viewport so that that means you need to choose camera one it's really really important you will check one or two times when you start rendering so and go to scenes tab here you need to go and expand this shutter option and give motion blur to full so if you have animated objects in your scene you definitely turn off turn on your motion blur so otherwise your animation looks so weird so you definitely want to turn on motion blur to full so you want to check 1 to the 1 30th frame and you want to check it will be a camera view and then you want to check shutter motion blur to full so it's three option is really important so and then click close so now I want to go to render layers so go to outliner so I will select all my objects and camera on all my lights over here so you want to select all the objects and camera one and all the lights and click on this one so that means all selected objects will be added to this layer so now I rename as Mm, animated Honda logo otherwise final output so it's enough final underscore output and press enter sorry I will do output press enter so before we start rendering you want to save this scene go to file and choose save scene as so this one is the rendering so i will do r e n d e r i n g so rendering so you definitely want to save this scene so before we start render you want to check one more time so i will choose my camera view i will start from one from 130 and in scenes in motion blur to full so I will click this save button so now you need to start render go to rendering and choose render and choose batch render so here you need to set batch render option box so you want to uncheck this auto threads to off so here you need to feed the render threads so it's really depends upon your system configuration so we already said in old projects so if you are uh, new to Prabhu Creative Works you need to know this what about this so render threads is basically depends upon what slot you have in your system so it's really important to set so right click on taskbar and choose start task manager and go to here we have lot of option go to performance here we have CPU usage history so in my particular system I have 4 slots 1, 2, 3, 4 so I will give render threads to 4 if you have only 2 slots please give 2 slot if you have 8 slot you want to give 8 slot so don't give much more than you have so otherwise your system will have crashed so you definitely you want to feed this value what you have in your performance CPU usage history so I have flow 4 slots so I will close this one so I will feed my system values to 4 and click on batch render and close so it will show result rendering with mental ray so and open the script editor over here in this corner so I will maximize this one so now it will start rendering see here it will shows percentage of render 0 percentage and it also shows animated Honda logo 001.tj so that means our render should be started you also check in your destination folder go to your destination folder so in this case my D drive is my destination folder so I will choose my animated Honda logo folder in images we have final outputs so here we have first frame starter so I will close this one 
so it will takes huge time to render so i will pause this video so we will see after complete our and rendering welcome back see here our render is completed up to 138th frame it will start from uh, one first frame to 138th frame see here it also shows uh, text information as render completed you also check in your destination folder go to my destination folder in this case my d drive i will go inside of my animated phone.logo folder in images i will open my final outputs it will render starts from animated honda logo 0012 animated honda logo 130 that means it will completed perfectly of our render in next part we want to comp in after effects so we will see on final part click the button to learn part 6 composition